Years ago, I was working in my first presidential campaign. The candidate was viciously attacked by a political columnist, and I drafted a statement hitting back. When I gave it to my client for his review, he had a one-word response, no. He then explained his rule, don't shoot down. Do not engage in fights that diminish your stature or battles that are beneath your dignity or squabbles that elevate the stature of a critic or skirmishes that detract from the battle with your opponent. In fact, he said, don't do anything that detracts from the message. If you're running for office in a competitive race, you will take flack every day from somebody. Voters do not judge your fitness for office by the number of bricks you throw back. Rather, they judge you by the way you handle the pressure and your grace under fire. And it is on that basis that voters judge your character, maturity, fitness to hold the office, and to make judgment calls that affect the way they live. Picking fights with every critic will not enhance your chances of winning an election. Voters will assume you have thin skin, that you're easily thrown off course, that you'll spend your time in office engaging in frivolous feuds instead of working for them. They may even conclude you don't have the temperament required to do the job. When that happens, it is very hard to get your campaign back on track. Two weeks ago, Donald Trump emerged from the Republican convention with a two-point lead. This past weekend, two national polls showed him behind by double digits, badly trailing in several crucial swing states. Mr. Trump now enjoys the satisfaction of starting several food fights the past couple of weeks. It is also clear that a lot of voters did not like what they saw. Have questions? Hit the comment button or email me at j at jtownsend.com. Be sure to visit jtownsend.com to get your copy of my free book, The Ten Worst Mistakes Candidates Make. I'm Jay Townsend.